Ainek was hasty in declaring Tinubu president because all evidence show he did not win Ezekume. Council to 2023 presidential candidate and Labour Party, Mike Ezekume, has voted Nigerian's electoral body, INEC, for quickly announcing Bola Ahmed Tinubu as the country's next president because the proofs that they have with them shows that the president was not victorious in the 2023 presidential election. He faulted INEC in an interview. Recall that Peter Obi's legal team had, a few hours ago, attended the court proceedings in Abuja where they were able to tender from ECHA for eight states following their plans to retrieve the Labour Party 2023 presidential candidates' allegedly stolen mandate through the presidential election tribunal. And so senior advocate of Nigeria and member of Peter Obi's legal team, Mike Ezekume, while speaking to Channel CV, Arise News, AIT, and other news correspondents, after such proceedings, stated that one of the witnesses in court was against Bola Ahmed Tinubu's inauguration as the 16th president because he did not win 25% of votes in FTT as stated in law. Speaking further, Mike Ezekume noted that generally, the thrust of our case today was that INEC was hasty and wrong in declaring Tinubu the winner of elections because every evidence showed that he did not win and that was our case today and four witnesses testified along that line. Well, leave your opinions on this in the comments down below as I check out what other people have to say about this. For sure, Tinubu did not win the presidential election. INEC chairman Mahmoud Yakubu colluded with APC to rig the presidential election in favor of Tinubu, but Yahweh will surely disgrace them. Criminal results presented by criminal INEC RECs and announced by a INEC chairman to usher in a criminal government under a criminal system in a criminal country. All I know is that any person or group of persons that supports evil, evil will never depart from his or their house. IPOP will be laboring in vain again. Obi will labor till death. It was a predetermined Islamic agenda as confirmed by the jihadist Hel Rufai, God is greater than men. Because maybe he has collected the alleged $170 million bribe. What a useless professor. Prove your case at tribunal, not on social media. Oloriburuku lawyer is Isonu. You're crying with last for eight years, Mr. Whaler. Mike ezekume -san, is it because you didn't go through the Nigerian Defense Academy Kaduna before you proceeded to study law at Obafemi Awolowo University? Ile Ife, Ife, you do not know that a military civilian group, Coup de Tart, has just been successfully staged against Nigeria, the Abacha 1999 Constitution, a Donatio Morris Cosa by Mohamedou Buhari, a compromised INEC chairman, Mahmoud Yakubu, APC, and Sif Nubu, the popular Chicago drugs baron. Do you know that what the whole world woke up to hear at 4.30 a.m. on the 1st of March had been planned since 2019 and we just saw the execution of a well-orchestrated nocturnal plan to overthrow the government of Buhari. With Buhari as a very active collaborator 
after all his eight years disaster and nightmare must come to an end on Monday 29th of May 2023. The coup plotters only rode the INEC Beavers machine, anti-tank guns, to brobeat and deceive gullible Nigerians, and they have successfully overthrown the constitution with glee and gusto. After all money speaks in Nigeria, political environment, Tifnubu has a lot of money to execute their treasonous, treasonable felony against the 1999 constitution. It was a coup that took four years to plan, believe it or not. The most foolish creatures of the millennium are the egghead Abadorians that are defending a rigged in unstable and inactive staggering of octogenarian to preside over 200 million strong, active, healthy and competent citizens. Your shame is catching me. Even the worst of ESN IPOB reasons better than you. Peter will be won in all states in Nigeria, even in Tinubu's hometown, polling units Lagos and Abuja, FCT. Joke apart, politics apart, partisan scene apart, sentiments apart, tribalism apart, religion apart, politically, political party apart. The truth of the matter is that Tinubu did not win that election. Idiots. That is how you are supporting Buhari. Today, all the evil supporters, do you know, do you see the consequences of evil government of Buhari? Rice is like gold in Nigeria, 7,000 to 30,000 naira. Now he is back to his original country, Niger Republic. Sai Baba. See that your madness country, Nigeria, is like a country that forced war for 10 years. Buhari used borrowed money from China in developing Niger Republic instead of Nigeria. Wait and see another greedy man in that office. After he will go back to Guinea. Okay. Well, these people have all given their own views on this. Make sure to leave your views in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share to your family and friends so that they know what is going on and can give their own views on this.